Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this video <clears throat> really fast. Um, it was actually a request from one of my subscribers on YouTube. I want to say his name is Daw One Two Three. It might be Dawson One Two Three. Um, but I'm gonna remember what it is and put his name in the video. So, um, first, thanks for subscribing, and second of all, let me get to the topic. Okay, so, he sent me a message and was basically saying that, um, I guess he's questioned a few women about whether or not pornography should be considered cheating. And I guess those women have told him, yeah, that they definitely feel like, um, <clears throat> it's cheating. And he wanted my opinion because he knows I'm going to tell you like it is. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Okay. First, let me start by saying I don't really discuss my personal and private um, experiences as far as sex go. Just because I feel like it's a very, very intimate, very personal thing. Um, and I just don't discuss it on here. But speaking in general, I'll do that. Sure. Okay, so. I guess first things first. Pornography is like so taboo and... It's either you love it or you hate it. And um, do I think there's anything wrong with a man in general watching it? No, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with it. No. Um, maybe within your religion, maybe biblically, you know, maybe it's not the best thing. <laughs> but um, as far as me personally, I would not have a problem with the man that I was dating watching it um what I feel like it was cheating if we were in a committed relationship I don't think so I mean if we were to say that it was cheating then a woman reading any of those Eric Jerome Diggy books reading any of those romance novels would also be considered cheating and I think that's you're reaching you're reaching a bit um if that was to be considered no I don't think it's cheating not to me um but like anything um, if you take it to the stream, it's definitely a problem. I would not want to be with a man who, you know, wanted to bring it in the bedroom and could not function, could not perform without it. That would be creepy. Um, and that could possibly be considered cheating because it'd be like, well, maybe he's not actually sleeping with me. Like, maybe he's pretending like he's sleeping with these chicks or whatever. Um, so I guess that could be kind of considered it but I mean I don't think any woman really wants to you know come to your crib and your bookcase is like live with pornos like it's not attractive <laughs> it's not um something that I would want a guy bragging about you know talking to me about it I don't think I would like that very much um but as far as his own personal time you know especially if you know we're still in the beginning stages of dating or maybe we're a couple now but you know whatever the case may be that means we're not even having sex yet and if we're not having sex I definitely um don't have a problem with you you know doing what you do <laughs> um so that you can get your you know stuff done like that's you um there was something else that I wanted to say about it because I was supposed to do it a couple of days ago um and I had something specific that I want to say about it, but I just can't remember what it was. Um, I don't know, but I feel like um, with anything, when you're talking about anything that's related to sex, you just have to find somebody that's on the same level as you. That's the same amount of freakiness as you are. Because I don't think there's anything wrong necessarily with being a quote-unquote freak. You just have to find somebody that's on your same level. You know, because what's gross and disgusting to me, another chick will say, oh, that's my thing. You know what I mean? So, if the chick that you're dealing with does not like it, and, it, I mean, it's just a big part of who you are, a big part of how you get down, maybe another chick. Maybe. Maybe. Um, because I don't feel like any man should have to hide it. You know what I mean? If the girl that you're with wants you to, like, throw all your tapes away, and 
And if you are okay with it, then by all means throw them out. But if it's to the point that she wants you to get rid of them and you pretend you get rid of them or you do get rid of them and you go buy some more, like, that's a bit extreme. It's almost like living a double life. That's creepy and uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend just getting somebody that's that's on your level that's doing your thing. Um, you know, that's just a part of relationships in general. Like, I know I'm a totally, totally emotional person. So, me being with a guy who it's really difficult for him to express his feelings, that wouldn't work for me. Um, I wouldn't be happy because I need to hear certain things, I need to feel certain things, and I just wouldn't be happy there. And, um, I don't ever think you should put yourself in a situation where you have to hide who you are. And that may seem a little deep for the porno, but <laughs> I think that's with anything, you know? If ballet is your passion and your husband is like you need to stop wasting your time you get a real job blah blah whatever whatever i mean if you've been thinking hey maybe i do need to you know start working a little more and maybe i should only do the ballet thing on the weekends and that's one thing but if that's just like your passion and he's just trying to you know suppress that then you know maybe it's time for you to move on so anyways that's all i gotta say the rule for me is no porno is not cheating um but it's definitely something that you need to watch because it can quickly get out of hand. Just like cheating, just like anything, it can quickly get out of hand and um, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so anyways, um, I love the, the, I got a request a couple uh, a couple months ago that I was supposed to get to um, and for whatever reason, YouTube, like, deleted my message. I don't know what happened to it. And I totally forgot what it was about. Um, but whatever it was, it was something that I, uh, that was weird. Like, really weird. <laughs> and I can't remember. But, um, I love the idea of the request. So, any requests you have, videos, things that you want me to talk about. Or, if I've already done a request for you, but I didn't get to the meat of what you wanted to know or what you wanted to ask me. Just put some questions in my box and I'll get it for you. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to One Love. Girl, I love you to death. <laughs> and I promise, 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 classes are over. Um, this two more weeks. I got two more weeks of the class. And on the 19th, I'm skipping town. <laughs> I will not be back here until September. So I'll be chilling, laid up for like almost a good two weeks, and I'll be getting a lot of writing done, I know. And I'll make a video especially for you. Promise, promise, promise. Alright, so that's it. Love you guys. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to say really, really fast. I'm sorry. I just happened to look back at the video and realize I just keep, like, smacking my lips. And that's so annoying. I hate that. I'm going to account to the fact that I'm kind of sick right now. I don't know if you can hear. I sound really nasally. So I'll blame it on that. But I hate when people smack their lips. I don't know why I did it a million times in that video. So I'm sorry. Okay, bye.